what's up guys in this video we are going to solve one problem from the web page called uh, code wars i really like this page because it makes my brain <laughs> be working like it makes my brain work and yeah there are a lot of problems and yeah if you see today we have this special problem which is called human readable duration format so what we basically have to do here is uh, we have to do a function which returns uh, a format this format given the second so for example the function is called and is called with the argument uh, 3662 those are the seconds that we have to format so that is the same as one hour one minute and two seconds I developed um, a solution, but the solution is very bad. As you can see, the solution is very, very, very long, and that's not good. Like, for example, so for example, all these steps can be shorter if we use a function, because if you see this, and this, and this, and even this, even that doesn't have this, we can add it without problems, like we could do this here. And yeah, like this uh, solution is not good, like also it doesn't work. Uh, if I test it here, it passes all the tests. But if I attempt to pass all, all, all the, tests, the tests, it's not okay because as you can see here, uh, instead of a comma, I should have an end. And I will do that later. But I just wanted to explain you why this is not a good solution. So now let me give me some time and I will create a better solution. So yeah, the final solution has been built and yeah, it's pretty simple. Like before the code was very long and that's not good. Like if you have to deliver that code and you expect that any of your teammates understand what you are doing, that's going to be very difficult. Now I barely have comments like now I'm not putting comments, but it's a good practice to put comments so that people understand what we are doing. But as I'm working alone and I'm going to explain this to you, I won't put any comments. So yeah, let's start by uh, this first line. Okay, the program starts by doing this line and it says, okay, if the second received is equal to zero, then we just return now. This is set in the in the statement, I don't remember when, here. The function max has set a non-negative integer. If it's zero, it just returns now. So yeah, this is the first uh, case, which is going, which is very simple. Then we have the res, um, res string, which is um, going to be what we are going to, what we are going to return. Then, Everything that I had before, now I have it with add unit. This function is the one that I created, which receives first the seconds that we have. So, for example, in this case, 3600. Then the seconds that uh, we are going to check, because we check this uh, in units. So, for example, in this call, we check years. In this call, we check days. In this call, we check hours. And in this call, minutes. And in this call, seconds. So in one year, we have all these um, seconds. So those are the seconds in the unit. Another thing is the unit name, which is year, and the <laughs> unit plural name. Like, I could just have added an S, but for example, here, I would have to add E, 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 e and S, and I would said like, hey, <laughs> I will add just a variable, and that's it. And finally, the, the string that we are using, uh, this one. So yeah, okay, we call this with years, for example, and what we do is, okay, we have uh, 1 million years, we, we 1 million seconds, we divide that uh, between this number, which is the number source of seconds in, in the year, we just computed the number of years uh, within those seconds. So if that unit is bigger or equal than 1, if we have more than 1 year or 1 year, then we have to print that uh, that like we have to print hey we have one year for example in this case we have more than one hour and we have to print okay there is there is one hour but for example in this case there is not one hour we cannot say hey zero hours no 
So now the seconds uh, have to be uh, subtracted. So for example, if we have one year and one day, in order to get that one day, we have to subtract the year. So here we have to subtract the seconds left. So for example, if we have here, for example, this uh, time, which is, okay, mm, first thing we will do is check a year. The year, uh, if we divide this between this, this is less than zero, like the less than one. So it won't do anything. Okay, now we check days. It's still less than one day, so we don't do anything. But when we check hours, we see that this divided by this is bigger or equal than one. Then in that case, what we do now is say, okay, let's remove the number of hours. Uh, for example, here is just one hour. Also, uh, I forgot to tell you, when we do this int, when do we this uh, cast, it also approximates the value because here, I don't know, we would have something like one point one, something like this. So int approximates the value and we just have one, not approximate, uh, truncate, I think it's truncate. Yeah, because uh, we, we do not have to approximate here, we have to truncate. Now that we have one hour, what we do is, okay, well, let's subtract this here. The one hour that we calculated by the time in one hour, the seconds in one hour, we have here as a result this. And now the process re uh, is being repeated. So with minutes, we do this, divided by 60, this is bigger or equal than 1, the result is 1, and we do 1 by 62, uh, no, not 62, by 60, minus 60, and we have 2 seconds left. So this is the algorithm. So yeah, another thing is when do we have to add an end? Like when do we have to add an end? That that I, that was the that was one of the problems that I was having before. So what I decided is okay, whenever I abstract the the result, if the result is zero, is that we are finished? Like we don't, we are not going to add anything else in the next calls. So in that case, when the result is zero after subtracting. I have to put an end, but also I have to put an end only if something has been written before. Like for example here, it's not okay to write this, and one second, no, no, no. If something has written before, uh, we are checking seconds, then we have to write an end. In other case, we just write a, a comma. Well, not in other case, uh, in the case uh, that uh, we have something written before. So yeah, then this is very simple. We just uh, concatenate to the string, uh, for example, the, we just concatenate to the string the units, for example, in, in the previous case is one, then one space, the space here, and the unit name. If we have only one unit name, which is here, we are going to write the singular, like one second. But if we have more than one unit, else we are going to use the plural and then we return uh, our string concatenated so we can use this and um, uh, so we can use the modified version again in the next call and the same happens with the seconds we modify we modify the seconds so this is the reason why we have to return these values modified we return these values modified another thing that i didn't explain is that in python we can return several values so as you can see here, I'm returning res and I'm returning seconds. I can do also here this, for example, one variable called a, and if I want to access uh, those values, I would have to call this or this. It's a tuple. What we receive is a tuple, but if we put two, two variables here, we can store them in the same order. So yeah, that was everything. As you can see, I have everything passed now and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you understood the problem and that and that for you now Python is a little bit easier. If you do this kind of problems, your Python your Python control is going to be better. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Like and subscribe and share if you like this one. <laughs> Bye.
don't forget to go and check my website in which I talk about trading and cryptocurrencies and all that stuff for a very cheap price. Mm -hmm. Ay.